Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BIOAQ. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame thing as a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Been doing this analysis on a very routine basis. In fact, did it yesterday. So that is where the green line down here is coming from. And I'm actually just gonna adjust this up. So sure, this line will be disappearing, but the only reason for that is I just don't wanna have clutter all over the place and risk causing confusion. So I wanna try to keep things as limited as possible. And I'm gonna move this up to what I would call as the newest area of support and what, you know, in my mind, the ideal level. I and mean, if you say, Clay, what make this chart look the best? If the price can stay above 0.035, that would definitely be a huge sign of power. With that being said though, don't get me wrong, if the price falls below uh, 0.035, I'm not saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that, because from the grand scheme of things, and for those of you that have watched the past videos, you've heard me talk about this, and I'm gonna continue to talk about it, because it truly does make you know monitoring the trend the most efficient, and that's just keeping an eye on that purple line there, the 50 period simple moving average. As the name implies, that purple line is gonna to continue to move itself higher and higher. So from a very basic perspective, as long as the price stays above that purple line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How are you gonna best visualize that? No questions asked. Staying above 0.035, sure, that would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as it's above that purple line, then the bulls are in 100% control. What about levels of resistance? As things stand right now, the sellers seem to be hanging out right up there around 0.0485. Actually, let's just round it up to five cents, make it a nickel, easier to remember. So five cents, public enemy number one going into tomorrow. Anyway, size it though, and as I've said in the past videos, just keep on focusing on those higher lows because as long as those higher lows keep getting higher and higher like they've been, you've seen that the chart takes care of itself and part of taking care of itself is breaking levels of resistance. So just build higher lows and let the trend do its thing. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.